So this is something that I hear a lot from my students. Jamie, look, I mean, I'm really interested. I, I really want to do all this stuff, but I kind of feel like an, an imposter. Like, I don't have the results. I've never done this before. Like, why would anyone want to buy from me? And so I hear this quite often, guys. And, and the reason I think this is an important topic to discuss is because uh, we all go through it at some stage. Uh, well, I'm going to make the assumption most of us go through it. Not everyone, of course. There are exceptions. Anyway, before I get into that, welcome to the channel, guys. If uh, this is the first time here, my name is Jamie. I cover internet marketing, affiliate marketing, how to get started online, and uh, pretty much all things digital. If any of that's of interest to yourself, feel free to hit that subscribe button, smash that bell icon to stay up to date with everything I'm putting out. All right, so uh, imposter syndrome, is it real? And uh, what can you do about it? If you're brand new to affiliate marketing, it's probably something that uh, might plague your thoughts a little bit. I know it was something that uh, definitely did sort of hinder my, uh, my own progress. And there's a couple of things that changed in, in my, uh, I guess in my way of thinking that I think maybe you guys might help uh, get some help from as well. So circa back to, uh, uh, 2011 when I got started and you know I was setting up blogs I was doing all the stuff and even then I, I kind of I knew about the financial markets and my goal was just to try and take that knowledge online which I, I did for a, a little while um, but there was a, a bit of an issue um, when it came to all the other stuff all the digital marketing all the uh, running ads all that sort of stuff I didn't really feel qualified so hence why I focused on low ticket items and, and these low ticket items some of them were, were really good some of them were not so great and I'm sure my pathway is probably not that dissimilar to a lot of people that, that watch my content. Uh, you know, you struggle, you kind of, you're just determined to make something work, so you never give up, and you keep going, keep going, keep going, and then eventually, you know, something finally clicks, right? And that's a, a relatively common pathway, I think, for a lot of people. But uh, I know for myself, one of the sort of limiting beliefs that I had um, back in the day was, oh, well, I can't do high ticket because I've, I've never sold high ticket uh, products before. And uh, this is a very common belief as, as well as, as a lot of our students sort of feel the same way. And if you're interested in, in learning more about that, there's a, a free case study below. Check out, out that. I'll go over some of the uh, stuff we, we, uh, we do in, in, in our business and things like that. So um, check that out. Anyway, um, yeah, it's something that a lot of the students tend to, to tell me. And my response to them is, you're not selling you. You know, you're not, it's not like you have to provide the results to the prospect. You're not sitting there going, hey, you know what, you know, give me five grand and I'll show you how to do X, Y, Z. If you're a high ticket affiliate marketer, guess what? The product is what you are promoting. The product is the one that gets the results for people. Uh, just like it may or may not be getting results for you right now. But if you believe in the product, if you really believe that it can help some people out, then you've got an obligation to get that in the right hands. Uh, and of course, that then means that instead of you being going, oh, I want my commission, I, you know, why would anyone buy off me? You don't need to worry about that because the product is what they are buying, not you. Of course, you're the one that helps facilitate that. That's the whole process, right? But at the same time, you can kind of relieve some of that pressure off yourself quite simply by remembering that it's not about you and what you want. It's about them and how the product uh, and the, or the service or whatever helps them out, yeah? And if you have that frame of mind, it means that you can kind of take yourself a step back from the actual process a little bit, and instead of approaching it with those insecurities of, oh, you know, what about, why would they, anyone buy from me? Oh, you know, I'm brand new, and you know, everyone else is doing really well, so of course they're gonna buy from them. But the other thing that I often tell people, and, and this is something that uh, I, I kind of hammer home in a lot of my content is, there's a, a million different reasons why someone would buy from you, versus some someone buying from me yeah could be because uh they like your accent better it could be because they you know they they don't like my content for for example and they don't feel it's giving them value or you know there could be a range of different reasons maybe there's you know they prefer dealing with one person over another and that's why i think growing a brand especially now um is, is so powerful because it, it gives us that opportunity to then basically sell whatever we want. Uh, if you don't believe me, have a look at people like Elon Musk. Like you know, he, he kind of built a brand, and you know now he's you know pretty famous, as, as some of you guys know. And uh, you know, then he decides he's just going to go into space. And you know, he's, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember if it was him or Virgin had, had pre-sold tickets for like 300k of pop or something like that. That's that's not done off off you know off nothing. That's because there's a very powerful brand, and and either either one. I, I, Sorry, I can't remember which one was which, but uh, if we're looking at Virgin or, or uh, Virgin Galactic or um, 
uh, SpaceX, you know, both of those are built off the basis of having a very powerful brand. But then, uh, you know, we can go even smaller. We can look at like, uh, you know, the Kardashians is a really good example. They sell a range of different stuff. Uh, Kylie Jenner, I think she, you know, um, meant to be one of the youngest billionaires ever based on her own makeup. Um, it's not necessarily that it's way better than any other products that are out there. It's just because she's got a, an incredibly large brand that has allowed her to leverage that and, and she's very good at marketing of course as well. So um, that's the thing, uh, once you build that brand, uh, you almost don't need to worry about the product. As long as you believe and you know that the product can serve your audience, then uh, it takes that, that whole thing away from it being about you and what you want. Um, and that's how you get over imposter syndrome. And then of course, once you've done it once, uh, it's like a snowball effect. It's like it starts to build and it will kind of like tumble down the hill. <laughs> so that was a silly analogy. But anyway, hopefully that helps. Uh, if anyone's in that frame of mind where they're wondering why anyone would buy from them, uh, like I say, the, the real deal is that uh, there's hundreds of different reasons why someone would buy from me versus you. You don't really need to worry about that. You just need to worry about whether the product or service that you're uh, involved in uh, and that you're offering to your audience is something that can actually help them out. And if you focus on how it helps them out, it then removes you from that equation and uh, obviously your audience is gonna appreciate the fact that you're authentic about it as well. Last point, sorry, <laughs> just swipe that little brainwave. Um, be authentic as well because people will, will read right through that in, in, in about three minutes time. So uh, probably, probably sooner to be honest. Um, and what I mean by that is if you haven't made sales before, then don't, you don't need to BS about it. If you, you know, haven't done something, you don't need to kind of make up some sort of elaborate ruse to, to get around that. It's quite literally just being authentic. Like I believe in this, I believe it's going to get some amazing results for people. Here's some really good examples of results that is getting for people and uh, maybe it can get results for you too. Um, anyway, uh, all that being said, like I say, if that it does resonate with you guys. I'd love it if you hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts. And of course, uh, check out the, uh, the free case study below. I'd love to see you guys on the inside as well. Anyway, my name is Jamie. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much.